God be the glory, all blessings, you heard? Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Matt Thomas, your boy Royalty. But if you clicked on this video, I need to make sure that you guys are pushing that push notification button. I need you guys to be hitting that bell. Make sure you get these notifications, because a lot of you guys not watching my videos. I got too many of you guys subscribed to my channel. You guys not watching my videos. I need you guys to watch my videos, so make sure you hit that down below. If I was talking too fast, lower it down so you can listen to it. Copy? Now, if you guys are watching this video, that means that you guys commented, you guys liked, you guys liked my last video, you guys probably hated my last video, or you guys are just here because you want to hear how I'm going to judge females and what they're going to do to us guys. Fellas, this video is for us. You did. <laughs> this is the 10 reasons to prove that she's not into you. And this is from, I'll say this, is, this might be from personal experience. <laughs> I've had my fair share of relationships and situationships and dates and trust me when I tell you. Number one, that's like I started my last video, it's no different for guys as it is for females. If you find yourself being abused verbally, mentally, uh, or physically, fellas, lead a situation. We are naturally stronger than women. We do not be, need to be in situations where we find ourselves, you know, beating up a girl, trying to protect ourselves. Um, you know, all in the name of, uh, you know, trying to protect our ego. You know, if she got hand problems, that's just not something we want to play with. I'm not a guy to play with hands. Don't put your hands on me. That's, I'm, that's first and foremost. If these ladies are abusive or they want to, you know, play with the hands, you know, in a, in a, in a sense that it, it goes out of hand, yeah, you need to clip yourself. You know, a little play fighting is fine. You know, a little, little, you know, you know, foreplay and all that. That's cool. But when it goes outside of that, and you know, um, you know, that's not good. Don't allow them to verbally beat you down, mentally beat you down. You know, you are a king, and make sure you remember that. Remember that. Copy. That's number one. Same thing for them. Same thing for us. Number two. I hate this with the pride and the passion within me. They justify every situation. They manipulate situations. Women that you find that manipulate every situation, that tries to play the victim, that's like, oh my God, I only did this because you did this. I only do this because you did this. I only did this because I think this. You gotta, don't even deal with that. That's like a tit for tat type of situation and that right there is very toxic, very strenuous. You can find yourself getting a headache and actually getting gray hairs before you need to be getting gray hairs because we need to make sure we keep our sexy on because we don't know when it's going to be time for us to keep our sexy on. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we don't need that. If you find a girl that manipulates every situation and wants to play the victim, you know, maybe she has some past trauma that we're not going to deal with, but necessarily, trust me, leave that situation alone because all it's going to do is bring up more and more and more drama. Number three, this is another one I hate. My name is Matt Thomas. I'm not Miss Cleo, although she was fake. I don't read minds. I don't read minds, right? We don't read minds, fellas. Do you read minds? I, we don't read minds. If you read my mind, what am I thinking? That that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you copy i think that you're lying you knew that copy we do not read minds if, if the lady that you're talking to cannot talk to you and let you know what's going on in her life and stuff like that and she expects you just to know because she expects you to know because you know her no now if they communicate with us and they told us certain things copy i can understand that but it's not our objective to read their minds you know, it's a communication type of thing. It's 50-50, 100-100, however you look at it. We need to make sure that we're communicating. If she does not communicate with you, what she, her needs, her wants, you know, her beliefs, and things of that nature, then it's not your job to pry it out of her. You know, this is not, this is not prove to me why I should be with you, prove to me why you love me. No, no. We came to the situation together. We're going to try to figure it out. We're going to have a meet in the middle. We're not going to get nowhere at all. Capiche? Number four. Now, this was the last one on my last video, but well, this is number four on this one. Commitment. If she pressures you into commitment, she might not be for you. One thing that I've learned is that a lot of women that pressure people into commitment have issues of being alone. Reason being that they have issues of being alone is because they haven't dealt with something within themselves to know who they are as a person. 
A woman that jumps from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship does not know what she wants out of life. She's afraid of finding something out. She's afraid of looking in the mirror and knowing who she is. She's afraid of having that conversation, that one-on-one -on -one conversation with herself. Let's not, let's not deal with that. Don't pressure yourself. You want to be pressured into no contract. You want to be pressured into no phone contract. You probably hang up the phone for the bill collectors, whether it's Spectrum, whether it's Hulu, whether it's Netflix. They don't pressure you into nothing. If you do it, you do because you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You get benefits out of it. But if she's trying to pressure you into a relationship, you got to ask yourself, what, 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 what's she doing? You know what I mean? But also, she probably think you're a good catch. And she don't want another person to get into you. That could be another thing. But the other 95% is probably because she knows she's dealing with these type of things. Um, now, if you're dealing with the shorty for a couple of years, uh, it's not pressure. Cause it's like, what are you doing? Like, like you know, shy clock, you know what I mean? So, um, but if she pressures you into commitment and she's um, very, very adamant about that, you gotta be a little weary about that. Like, you gotta talk to her, like, what's up? Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what you're thinking, because I need to know what type of time you on. I need to know what type of time we on, so we could be on the same type of time together. Number five, I see this almost everywhere in life, and this is a very annoying thing. Um, do not allow a woman to break you down because of this number five I'm about to say. She asks for more than what she has, or she cannot provide it for herself. Do not let a girl bury you like, oh my God, you can't get me this Louis bag. You can't get me these Uggs. You can't, if she can't buy it for herself, tell her to shut up. Shut it up. It's not your job to come in there. You're not daddy's little girl. Like, no. Listen, if she can't get it for herself, tell her to chill. Tell her tranquila, man. Like, I ain't got time for it. You know what I mean? Most times I see a lot of people that be like, oh, you know, I want a man that's going to you know, buy me this, buy me that, buy me this, buy me that, treat me like this, treat me like that, treat me like this. But you never see them say the same thing about the man. I'm going to treat my king like this. I'm going to treat my lover like this. I'm going to do this like this. All you hear is about how they want certain things. You know, make sure the energy is reciprocated. You know what I mean? If she can't provide it for herself, it's not your objective to provide it for her. She needs to figure it out herself because that's not your job. It's not your job. Of course, it's nice to do some nice things for her, but make sure you know... You guys are meeting down the middle. Make sure you got enough in your pocket, like how she has enough in her pocket. And you know, you guys can spoil each other with, you know, little different things here and there. Number six. This one right here. <laughs> Yo. Number, this one This one might catch, make somebody catch an eye, Jamie. I hate girls that's always bringing up what they old dude used to do. <sighs> if, if he was so special, <laughs> go be with him. Go, listen, listen, listen. This is another sign that she's not for you. If she keep bringing up her old fella, if she keep bringing up potential guys, if she keep bringing up guys that's in her DMs or what she could have or what she could, she's not for you, fellas. You gotta do better, baby boy. This, she's not for you. Listen, don't let no girl keep telling you what her old used, dude used to do. Nobody cares. We don't care. I mean, I don't care if you care. I mean, that's just you. You just cut from a different cloth. Just me per se. I just don't really care about it. I don't really care. Any girl that feels the need to keep bragging about what they old guys used to do, I feel like it's still something there, whether it's sexually, whether it's emotionally, whether it's mentally, whether it's spiritually, something's still there. So, sis, if you still want to be there, then uh, get the boot and take it, get, get the step in. You ain't about to guilt trip me into what your old fella used to do. It must have been something about you that he didn't like that y'all not together. And then she probably gonna say, no, it was my choice. I chose to leave the situation because it was better for me. So then stop talking about our boy, you feel me? You gotta stop talking about our boy, because we don't care. We don't care, you just make it just more prone to just leaving the situation. If she don't have no life goals, leave her alone. The biggest thing about women that's scary is they could get pregnant. <laughs> let's, let's just put this on, on the table. If she don't got no life goals, leave her alone. Because the only thing out of life goes after that, she's going to get pregnant. You leave her alone. Leave her alone. She don't got no life goals for herself. That means she don't have no standards, no, no understanding of what she wants to do with her life. And that's just not where you at. Fellas, we need to make sure we get into a bag of getting better. We need to make sure we stand on our feelings. You know what I mean? We need to stand on merch plug, merch plug, merch plug. We, have, we need to make sure that we stand on our feelings and get into the bag, bro. If she don't have no aspirations, if she's not believing in herself, if she's not thinking about how she's going to get, you know, push forwards more things and more things, bro, she's not for you. The biggest thing about growing in life is about how can you be better, how can you grow more, how can you do more. And if you're not getting that from her, then, then what are you doing? Because she got a bad body? Because she's pretty? She got long hair? She got pretty eyes? Nice waist? Slim face? The guy, like, 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 like seriously, seriously, it's, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, so let's make sure we just leave that one alone because you ain't got no goals. It's like, what can you do for me? Number eight. 
Kobe, back in the day, Kobe, back in the day, Kobe. Um, if she wasn't happy before you, I'm big on this. I'm big on this. I'm big on this. Um, of course, you can bring happiness to someone's life. You know, I'm never knocking that. But if she's not happy without you or before you, as far as like, you know, with herself, it's going to be hard for her to be happy with you. You know what I mean? You're going to have to try to, you're going to have to pick her up and come on. And, and if you're dealing with your own things, it's kind of hard kind of try to bring someone else with you. You know what I mean? You know, if she wasn't happy before, you might have to leave that, you know, that luggage alone. It's, it's going to be hard. You know, she might be pretty, she might be dope and stuff like that, but it's, it's you know, once all, once once the honeymoon stage is over, you're going to have to actually really deal with that. You actually have to really deal with those red flags. And that's just something that you just don't want to deal with. You know what I mean? If she wasn't happy before, you got to figure out why. If you want to stick around and figure out why, copy, cool. But, but understand, that's, that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. Number nine. I could have said this for, 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 for the guys, but I'm not going to say it for the guys. I'm going to say it for the girls. Because I know a lot of girls that do it. If her phone is face down. If her phone is face down. It's just something that she don't want you to see. <laughs> if a phone is face down, yo, man, my, my, I'm crazy, so I'm just ask. I don't know what y'all gonna do. If a phone is face down, she moving shaky, shaky, shaky. That's it. Well, I don't care. What you doing? Why your phone face down? Why your phone face down? You could just turn it off. You could just like left the face up. But why you put it face down? Who do you not? Want? Who's who's hitting us up? Who do you not want to get a text from? Huh? What? What? Oh, don't, don't even get me started with the, with the, she got the phone, and she's sitting right here, and she like, that right, <laughs> that little turn in the phone, uh, if she turned her phone, bro, you might as well just clip her, just leave her alone, because that's, that's just not it for you, that's just not it for you, so, 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 <laughs> number nine, make sure her phone is face down, she is not the one for you, papo, no, 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 last but not least, Drum roll, please. Number 10. Birds of a feather Ooh. flock together. That was good. Ooh. You barely ain't coming through that day. Birds of a feather flock together. If her friends is yachties, she's probably a yachty. If her friends are in relationships and they cheating, she's going to be prone to cheating. If her friends are single, but they're giving her advice. And while y'all in a relationship or while y'all talking, she's not for you. Listen, I'm telling you, these are all red flags that we all ignore because we like what we're seeing. But what we're seeing is not enough. What we're seeing is I might get some thumbs down on this video, but it's cool. Might be nothing but ladies thumbing it down, but it's cool. Fellas, if you if you have in a situation with whoever you're talking to, send her that text and be like, yo, listen, my boy Matt was talking to me and it just seemed like it's just not gonna work out. Because I got a real one that put me on and the girls didn't want us to notice. But you put us on, Matt. So don't be don't be mad. <laughs> don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. No, Brandon. Listen, don't worry about it. Fellas, 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 I need you guys to smash this like button. I need you guys to, to, to run it up. Ladies, if you guys are not in your feelings, you kind of rock with what I'm saying, or you just like me as a content creator, you just think I'm cute, you think I'm attractive, just like me in a comment, you know what I mean? And, you know, you know share it with your friends and uh, tell everybody to support your boy. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? All right? I'll talk to you guys later. It's your boy Matt Thomas. It's your boy Royalty. Over. And out.